In this video, I will show you how to save time and headaches while creating YouTube videos by generating and posting automatically metadata of your videos, like your description, your link, your timestamps, or your tags. So first, we will scrap the latest video posted uh, by the YouTube channel. Then we will scrap uh, data of the video thanks to AP file. Then we will wait uh, for dataset completion and get the data of the dataset. Then we will check if the metadata are generated, if we have a description, timestamps, links, tags, etc. And if they are not, we will generate everything. Finally, we will uh, take all of this data created, format them, and update the YouTube video directly. Now let's review the node one by one. So first, as I said, we have a trigger to check uh, when a new YouTube video is posted. So to do this, we'll use an RSS feed trigger because if you don't know this, every YouTube channel have uh, an RSS feed. You just have to uh, copy the first part of the link here uh, until channel ID equal and then paste your channel ID. To find it, you can go uh, on the YouTube channel and you will find it in the URL after channel ID. So you just paste this and every 10 minutes we'll scrap when a new video is posted. After this, we use an if node to check if the new video posted is in the last 10 minutes. Uh, so basically what we do is we convert uh, the published date that we find from the RSS feed here uh, to milliseconds. And if it's greater than the current date minus 10 minutes here, converted in milliseconds also, uh, that means that this is posted in the last 10 minutes. So if this is true, we go in the true branch. If it's false, that means that we don't have a new video that is posted in the last 10 minutes. Once this condition is verified, we will use AP5 to scrap the data of this latest video. So you create an HTTP request node. Uh, then we go on AP5. We use the same scrapper that you used uh, in the last videos. Uh, you go on API, API endpoint, and the goal here is to run this actor. So you copy this link. This is a post request. You go back here. Uh, you select method post. You post uh, your URL. And normally, you should have your API token at the end already uh, included. So no authentication because uh, we already have the token here. You send a header using the field below, content type, application JSON. And we send a body. This is where we'll uh, select the parameters uh, using JSON. And here we only need to download the subtitles uh, with the URL of the latest video, method get, and subtitles in English. Once you have this, we'll uh, wait until AP5 scrap everything. And once this is done, we'll get the data from this video. We check if the data set is completed. So to do so, we use the um, get the last run. So this is a get request. You copy this link and you come here, get method and you paste the link. And we'll wait until this status is not running and it's succeeded. So this is where uh, we use the if node. If the status is equal to succeeded, you go to the true branch. And if it's not, you wait uh, five seconds or 10 seconds and you try again. Once this is done, you get the data set. So you just use the next request, get last run data set item. You copy this. This is a get request again. Uh, you come here, you select get method and you paste your uh, URL. And you should have normally uh, your last video uh, with the URL, thumbnail URL, view count, date, channel name, etc., etc. So you have a lot of uh, information here, included the, the subtitles that we will use just after. After this, we'll do a double check to check if metadata are not generated. So here we use an if node and if in the description, so this is normally, yeah, text here, this is the description. So if uh, the description does not contain 00.00, .00 so this is the first element of the timestamp uh, part. Uh, so if it does not contain this, you go in the true branch. If it contains this, it goes to the false branch and do nothing. So after checking this, we will uh, generate all the information we need. Uh, so we use a basic LM chain. So you are given the full script of a YouTube video. Your task is to extract metadata uh, in a structured format to be used in a YouTube upload. Uh, 
Uh, so we come here, user text, and we give to the AI the script input, the final output format that is uh, a preview. So this is the description. We have the timestamps and some tags. And we give him some uh, instruction to follow. So for every element, write a short preview, 100 to 200 characters max of the video using engaging language and include relevant keywords from the topic of the video. Uh, we have timestamps with the format and an example output format and some tags in this format because this is what YouTube use. Uh, once you have this, make sure to select require specific output format and you add a structure output parser where you include the format of the output. So we have a JSON in three parts for uh, one part for each element. So the first one is name preview. This is a string and you have the description. Second element is timestamps and it's also a string uh, with the description. And the last is the same for the tags. Once you have this, you should have uh, as an output of this node here, as you can see, every element preview, that is the description, timestamp uh, here with a backline, as you can see here after each timestamp and some tags separated by comma. After this, we use uh, a code node to format everything. So what we do is we create a value for preview, so description and a value for timestamp that are from the previous node, as you can see here uh, in description. And I've included in the description some uh, links that are hard coded, meaning these are not variable, that is a fix, but you can include anything else that you want to share in the description, for example. After this, we format the description so we create a variable again and we have uh, the preview, a back to line, the link back to line and timestamps. And we return the description uh, trimmed. So as you can see on the right side, you can use this directly on the YouTube description of your video. And after this, this is where you add uh, a YouTube node update a video. So you connect uh, your YouTube account uh, here. You need to use the Google Cloud platform to connect your uh, YouTube account to N8N. Uh, you can find a lot of tutorial uh, on Google. Uh, so the resource is a video update. Uh, you get the video ID from API, get data set, item JSON ID. Uh, you get the title also. And this is where you will put the description of the code node created just after and formatted uh, for your YouTube description, as you can see uh, here. So this is well formatted. And you add an option here, you select tag, and you will have this that appear and you just add the output uh, of the tags variable created in the basic LM chain node. Obviously, you can customize this workflow as much as you want. Uh, you can do it in the basic LLM node uh, here. You can generate more thing uh, if you want, but if you do so, you will have to update this accordingly in the structure output parser here uh, and add a variable. And you can also customize this in uh, the code node, for example, for element that uh, will be in every description of all of your YouTube videos. So you can add this in the hard coded uh, link section. You can find the blueprint of this workflow for free in description. You just have to download it, uh, come here, import from file and uh, import it and you can use it directly. So I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments if you have any question regarding this workflow. Thank you for watching.